The MCU is in a terrible state right now. They don't have any idea what they're doing and whatever they're trying, it doesn't work. Nothing works for them. Those last couple of years have been their worst ones by far, and people have taken notice of that. Once the quality of the movie started going downhill, everything started to go downhill for the MCU. From the bad reviews, to how much money their movies made at the box office decreasing drastically. It's gotten so bad now that the majority of their movies are flopping and losing them tons of money. The entire time the MCU has been active, which is since 2008, they never even had a single flop. Not a single one. They only got more and more successful as time went on and eventually they ruled the box office with movies like Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. Endgame even becoming the highest grossing movie of all time. Now that's an accomplishment. Yet since 2020 that took a drastic turn. They started getting their first flops here and there, but it wasn't time to panic yet as the majority of their movies still made them a lot of money, even if not as much as they used to. But the time to panic has come now for the MCU. They've reached a point where the majority of their movies are flopping and they keep setting a new negative record with nearly every new movie they release, alongside the aspect that their movies are continuing to get worse. Their newest movie, which was The Marvels, was one of their most expensive movies so far, yet it became the MCU's lowest grossing movie. That's the way things have been for the MCU those last couple of years. A fall from grace, definitely. And the big reason for that is that they have no good plan for the future. Just listening to them talking about what they have planned for the future and what direction they want to go in just makes me wonder if they are freaking serious, cause it rather appears like they have lost their minds. The executives at Marvel have revealed that they're planning to make the new Echo show the future of the MCU. Out of all the things that they could have built the future of the MCU on, they choose to do it on a show that's not even out yet, where people have no idea whether it's even good or not. But one thing that's clear is that no one except for a few diehard Marvel fans will have any idea who that character even is. But Marvel has already decided to make her the future of the MCU. They have no idea whether the show will even be received well by the public, they have no idea whether the show will even do well, and they have no idea whether people will even like the new character. What if the show turns out to be garbage, it flops and people end up hating the new character? Well, the MCU is gonna have a big problem on their hands. The way they're talking about Echo, it sounds like the show's characters, or at least the main character, will play a big role in the future of the MCU. So they're basically risking the entire future of the MCU just because they wanted to have another female member in the Avengers. They're really following through on their plan to turn the MCU into the MCU, cause they're removing so many male heroes and replacing them with female ones. And sounds like Echo will take the MCU one step further into that direction. Apparently it's not as clear to Marvel as it is to us that their plan to save the MCU is horrible and will only make things worse for them. Meanwhile I don't understand why they are not utilizing all the popular characters that they already have. Instead of risking it all, just build the future of the MCU on the characters that have already proven to be popular and successful. They could have built up Thor to carry the future of the MCU. Yet they screwed that up when they let the director who doesn't even like the character direct the last two Thor movies, where especially the last movie ruined the character for a lot of fans. Well and since Thor doesn't seem to be the best pick to carry the future of the MCU now, they could have just went with Doctor Strange. They made him one of the most popular MCU characters and could easily turn him into the magician counterpart to Iron Man with his technology. Oh yeah, but then Marvel managed to also screw up Doctor Strange in his second movie, where he was the only character that didn't get a storyline or any character development. But one popular character that they still got that could manage to save the MCU if done right is Spider-Man. He is the most popular character, all his movies have done very well, with his third one even becoming one of the highest grossing movies of all time. So if any of the characters they have left and haven't ruined yet could save the MCU, then it's obviously Spider-Man. But even that could prove to be tricky since Tom Holland has stated that he will only return to play Spider-Man if he's pleased with the script and feels like they're doing justice to the character. And as we know Marvel, or at least the Marvel of nowadays, then we know it's gonna be hard for them not to ruin the character. And apparently Tom Holland also knows that. He has most likely seen the other movies and what they've done to those characters. So he knows that his character is in big risk. That's why he stated he will only return if he's happy with what they're doing to the character. And Marvel is already acting like Spider-Man is out of the question. They aren't talking about making him the future of the MCU. Cause Spider-Man sadly is a straight white male character and the Marvel of nowadays can't let a character like that lead the MCU into the future. 
Since Iron Man is gone now, they rather want to establish a female character as the leader. Instead of simply picking Spider-Man as the character to build the future on, they rather use characters like Maya Lopez from The Echo Show, even though nobody knows her. But what matters to them much more is that she's a female person of color, and that doesn't apply to Spider-Man. And since they know that it's gonna be hard to sell the show, but it has to be successful, they got the lazy idea to just pump the show full of cameo appearances of popular characters, hoping that that's gonna make people watch. But if they should have learned anything by now, then it's that cameos don't save a movie or show from sucking. If the show sucks, then people won't watch it, or at least quickly drop it after giving it a chance. Cameos are the laziest way to catch people's interest, but Disney heavily uses them since they have completely run out of creativity. But there are more and more people that speak out against cameos, at least when it comes to using them too much. Even some people in the industry are speaking out against cameos. People like James Gunn, director of the Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy, the Suicide Squad reboot and the CEO of the upcoming DCU, which is DC's new attempt at the cinematic universe. James Gunn thinks that cameos are a major problem in modern superhero movies, at least unnecessary cameos, which the MCU is very guilty of. Even the leader of the DCU, which will most likely end up being the MCU's biggest competitor, is basically calling out Marvel with that. Marvel and the DCEU, which also use cameos heavily and is done now. But the MCU shows no signs of slowing down with their use of cameos. On the contrary, if anything, then they sound like they want to increase their usage of cameo appearances. The MCU is going downhill and they don't seem to have any idea on how to save it. Even if it could be saved pretty easily, Marvel just doesn't want to do it. They want to desperately take the MCU into this female, woke and cameo driven direction, even if it ends up destroying it. With their dumb decision making and ridiculous strategies, the MCU is truly gonna be done for good very soon. But what do you think? Is it a dumb or a smart decision to make the MCU so heavily female-centric and cameo-driven? And what do you think about Marvel's decision to make Echo the foundation of the future of the MCU instead of a character like Spider-Man? Share your thoughts in the comments down below and like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one and to not miss any future updates, which will most definitely come. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Take care.